Uh, hey there everybody, just doing a review for this Dr. Prepare 100 amp hour 12.8 volt uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. Um, I've done reviews, I've done plenty of reviews for these type of batteries and you know they can be helpful for you know using as a power source and um, in this case it's just another one um, on the market you know in the past I've done reviews for I think Power Queen, uh, Lead Time, uh, Rododo and you know this is just another option on the market that you can choose and what's included in the box uh, with this battery are like the uh, post bolts that I actually already uh, plugged into the battery right there get these uh, two other washers I believe these uh, um, positive and negative uh, rubber caps and these were caps that were on the battery as well um, this is the manual for the battery um, right here just taking a look at the um, manual uh, more closely um, this battery is a bit smaller than other 1280 watt hour um, batteries that I've reviewed. I mean, just taking a look at the size, yeah, it does have a 10 by 5 by 7 point inch form factor. However, I will say it weighs 22 pounds and that matches right up with um, other 100 amp hour batteries I've reviewed. So just, just a heads up on that. Um, you know, once again, it's, it's, it's still really small though. It's smaller than... You know many of the other ones I've reviewed. Um, taking a look at the specifications, um, yeah, as I mentioned before already, uh, 100 amp hours right there. Rated voltage is 12.8 volts, and um, yeah, so basically you can you know output 1280 watts and input 1280 watts uh, for this battery. And also, you know, once again, this is a lithium iron phosphate battery, so you're able to get more than 5,000 charge cycles and still and still maintain about 80% or more battery capacity efficiency. And so yeah, there's all these specifications right there in case you're curious. And there are some important safety instructions right there as well. Just taking a look over at the other side of the manual, um, there's some more um, information about the battery in case you're curious uh, before you buy it. Um, and yeah, that's really about it. And just taking a closer look at the battery itself, um, not nothing really much to say. I mean, it's a deep cycle uh, battery. You get the uh, positive and negative terminals right there. Um, over on this side, nothing. And over at the back, there is nothing. So yeah, overall, um, a pretty simple looking battery. Um, you know, when it comes to the packaging as well, um, everything is simple right there. Um, you know, just like my other reviews, I'm just going to be doing a uh, capacity test where I plug my um, load tester, uh, that one specifically right there. I'm going to plug it um, to the uh, positive and negative terminals on the battery to see how much of that 1280 watt hours I can actually use. Alright you guys, so just here uh, starting the capacity test for this Dr. Prepare 100 amp hour battery. Um, I literally just started it. Um, as you can see, the runtime so far is about 20 seconds. Um, and you know, once again, I'm just gonna run this uh, load tester until the uh, battery reaches um, 0%. I'm usually looking for 100% uh, capacity efficiency or a little bit more. Uh, these batteries do tend to go over 100% capacity efficiency. At least that's what's happened in the past uh, with my um, lead time, Redodo, and Power Queen battery reviews. And I'm just hoping the same for this one. All right, so I did finish up the uh, capacity test for this Dr. Prepare 100 amp hour battery. And I ended up with a 1,347 watt hour capacity. And that gave me a 105% uh, um, capacity efficiency rating. Uh, so yeah, this is one of the highest I've gotten. Um, so yeah, this battery definitely does have a 1,280 watt hour capacity and a little bit more. Um, I would consider that a lot more. I mean, a whole five percentage points, that's really good, especially for the size. You know, once again, this is a smaller size than comparable um, capacity batteries. And so just taking a look at the stats that I got, yeah, as I mentioned before, um, 11 hours of runtime, 1,347 watt hours. That is impressive, 106 amp hours right there. So yeah, this uh, Dr. Prepare battery definitely has the capacity that it says it has. And a little bit extra um, so you're definitely going to be getting your money's worth 
and I'm just gonna go ahead and get it and I'm just gonna go ahead and get it charged up back to 100 percent to do the AC to do the AC inverter testing. Alright guys, so I do have the AC inverter test uh, set up right over here. I do have this DeWalt uh, 1000 watt inverter connected to the Dr. Prepare battery. Um, I just used the included uh, cables that came with the De DeWalt um, inverter. And so in this case, I'm just gonna run the heater on its um, uh, low setting uh, because you know the inverter is only rated for a thousand watts and then you got the battery that's only uh, rated for 1280 watts and I think on the high setting um, yeah I think on the high setting the heater is able to output about 1300 watts so I'm just gonna run it as low setting which is gonna pull about 800 watts I think um, but we'll see but yeah just gonna show you um, a closer look at my setup that I got that I got going on over here um, nothing complicated about it it was really easy to set up in just a matter of seconds to be honest I think and also this uh, DeWalt inverter does have a screen that shows the wattage output I believe it's kind of hard to read to be honest um, because that, that like blue screen um, I think they went a little too crazy with the blue right there but uh, yeah there it is there are also three charging ports which is pretty nice Got an on and off button right over here on the side. Uh, but yeah, not reviewing the inverter really. I'm just gonna be turning on the heater and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna be running, um, and you know, once again, I'm gonna be running the heater on its uh, low setting continuously until it's at 0%. Um, nothing's happening with the heater. Uh, just give me a second. Okay, uh, not too sure what happened, but the heater uh, wasn't working. Um, I'm kind of worried now that the DeWalt inverter somehow did something to it uh so i just went with my crock pot now um because i didn't want to plug in my other other heater uh just in case the inverter uh broke that as well i'm gonna go check on my heaters to make sure that they're okay maybe they're not okay um but we'll see but anyways um i'm gonna power my crock pot now <laughs> to run down the uh, doctor prepare battery down to zero percent to see how much um, watt hours I'm able to, I'm able to pull from it through the inverter. Um, please tell me this works. Yes, this is working. Thankfully, I am able to set my um, uh, crock pot on its high setting right there. That's going to be pulling about 250 watts. Um, so yeah, this uh, inverter test should last a few hours. Unfortunately, I was hoping to use the heater um, and you know just expedite the process by making the AC inverter testing maybe maybe last about maybe an hour and a half. But in this case, it's probably gonna go on for about more than two hours, but it is what it is in this case. And I'll be right back to show you guys my results for the AC capacity test. All right, you guys, so just here a few days later, um, the test didn't run for a few days, but I just, um, I'm recording the results a few days later. Um, this is my cat right here, in case you're wondering if he comes into shot. But uh, yeah, anyways, um, I ran down the battery um, down to 0% using this uh, DeWalt inverter. Um, you know, once again, I don't know what happened when I plugged in the heater. Uh, I just automatically shut off and refused to power on. Um, hopefully, the inverter did not break my heater, but I'm going to check on that. I um, still haven't gotten around to doing that. But uh, yeah, anyways, um, with the Crock-Pot, I was able to get about a 1,180 watt hour AC capacity, and that gave me about a 92% AC capacity efficiency. Um, so yeah, this is, I think, a little bit higher than other uh, 100 amp hour um, brand batteries, um, because usually I think I've scored about 85% from them, you know, from lead time or Dodo and um, a Power Queen, but this is a tad bit better. So I nearly got 100%, um, if you consider 92%, you know, close enough to 100%, uh, which I do. Uh, and yeah, that's really about it <laughs> um, for this uh, review. Uh, nothing too uh, detailed, detailed or drastic. Um, you know, I think I would recommend this battery in case you are looking for a deep cycle lithium iron phosphate 100 amp hour 12.8 volt battery. Um, it performed well in my testing. Um, and also, you know, when I did the actual capacity test using my load tester, it had about a 105% um, capacity efficiency, which was very good. And uh, yeah, this is just another option on the market in case you're looking for a product like this. I will have a link down in the description below uh, for this battery. And I will also have a link to the review article over at chargerharbor.com in case you want to read a review for it as well. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And I will see you all in the next video, all right? Goodbye.